Houston. Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks and welcome you all to a brand new Let's Play of Dragon Age Origins on the Xbox One X. We're going to crack straight into a new game here. I won't talk over the intro, big cutscenes and such like at the beginning. And so is the golden city blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It's been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. All right, time to make a character, people. Best part of RPG. <laughs> We all love creating our character at the beginning. Now, for those of you those of you who've followed me for a while or have browsed around the channel, will notice that there are four parts of this already done. From about a year ago, I started one, and then about six months ago, I did another part of it, part four. And I had every intention of continuing that. However, I lost the saves. So the Xbox One X has given me a brilliant opportunity to start this again and do a full let's play for you and that is exactly what we're going to do so in order to not confuse anyone who stumbles on the channel because I want to leave the ones that are there up as well in a separate little playlist we'll try and create the character a little bit differently than we did I think we went an elf last time uh... I think we're going to go human and 
Yeah, rogue's kind of my thing, really. I love being the rogue. We could go warrior, but... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i go with the rogue, I think, because it's what I'm comfortable with. We went with the, a rogue on the, the other playthrough as well, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it was an elf female that I did. And... Human Noble is the only one I've got an option to. Probably because I've no save. It might be the only one that they've, that they've got actually for the human. Hmm. Now that I'm doing this, I've got a feeling it might have been a right. Well, we'll just we'll go with this and we'll give a black hair or something, <laughs> just to make them look different when you go into them. Alyssa. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I went with that name last time to wind Alyssa up. So if you're watching Alyssa, that was your fault. Right. Let's, uh... I think we're most definitely going to go with my go-to name for the female characters. Greetings. Okay. So I think we're going to have a bit of... Skin's probably fine. Um... It's quite nice, isn't it? I'm going to probably have a helmet on at some point. <laughs> anyway, so it's not going to matter too much, but... Yeah, I think I like that one that we found, the braided one. Let's do it. <clears throat> Hair colour. Right, we need to go with... Uh... Well, actually, the hair is completely different, funnily enough, than the last one I did anyway, I think, so... Nice dark hair, I think, maybe. Eyebrows. Yeah, I think we're fine there. There's no need for bushy eyebrows, people. <laughs> I don't think. That's about the same colour, isn't it? Alright. Uh... Stick with the standards, I think. Right, I colour we'll go for, I think, and we'll leave the, the rest of it as... Nice dark brown. Oh, nice hazel, actually. I think we'll go with the hazel. Very nice. And... I think we'll keep the nose as is, will we? Seems reasonable. Uh, I thought you could do something with the... Not overly keen on the massively blue mascara. I'm sure I thought there was eye shape, size, spacing, height, eye colour, brow depth, height. No, there isn't. Could be on a separate page, right enough. No, because that's the portrait there that we're gonna. What's that all about, people? I was almost positive there was something to do with our oh, skin. Maybe it's in here. Yeah, here we go. Eyeshadow. There we go. That's probably about right, actually. Just leave it at that. Go for the natural. Tattoo. No. No. That's the one. I think we'll leave it all as. 
natural as possible. And voice that we'll barely hear, but the ah, go that way, go that way. Portrait. What? Oh, I see. I thought I was going to take a picture there. You think I'd have played this game before? <laughs> Ah, that's better. In fact, that might do. I'll do it. Right. And we are good to go. Let's check the voice. What? Please select a different... Cancel. For most players, your party is immune to friendly fire. What the hell? Oh, I see. I thought... <laughs> Greetings. Thank you. Greetings. Greetings. Charmed. Greetings. Charmed. Greetings. Yeah, I'll go with the wise one. The wise woman. Uh. Well, I think that's it. How do we move on here? Oh, next. There we go. Nice. Yeah, we've done a good job there, I think, people. This is where we go into the game, and <laughs> it's exactly the same as the one I created before, but never mind. Right, stats, people. Well, dexterity is definitely to do with the agility of uh, what we're up with. So it's giving us five to spend on top of what we're doing. I picked a rogue, so dexterity is high. I think willpower helps rogues as well. For warriors and rogues, willpower grants more stamina for combat techniques and special attacks, yeah. So, I think we might well... Stick a couple on there. Try to remember what's in the... Stick one on strength. Uh... Strength measures a character's physical prowess and directly affects the damage a character deals in physical combat. Yeah. High strength is essential for warriors in particular if they wish to wield two-handed weapons. All right, okay. So does dexterity do strength of... High dexterity improves the character's chances to hit, makes the character more likely to dodge incoming blows, and contributes to the damage dealt by piercing weapons like daggers or arrows. And archery, looks of it. Yeah, so strength might not actually be something we need. So I think we'll turf it onto constitution as it happens. All right, points to spend. One. Now, I need to be clever here, because what do I normally do? Now, this gives us the tactical slot, I think. Is it? The character can formulate strategies, yeah. So. Ah, hang on. Because does that not do hurt? That not do hurt healing. Character can make simple potions and pulses as themselves, yeah. So that gives us the healing ability. I think I normally bring this up first. Character has seen more battles than even seasoned soldiers and gains a small bonus to attack. Warriors and rogues gain access to third tier weapon talents. Yeah. Makes mages can take more damage from an attack before it interrupts their spell casting. Okay. I think we'll take that one actually and we'll go for the uh, herbs one. You can make lots of herbs in this game, but I don't know if you can do it particularly early on, so we'll take that for now. 
and talents. Uh, that's a passive one. All rogues have some understanding of opening locks and spotting traps. But particularly dexterous hands and a steady grip gives the character a bonus when picking locks or disarming traps. The character's cunning score was contributes to these skills. I think we definitely need a bit of a move first. Character sweeps both weapons in a broad forward arc, striking nearby enemies with one or both weapons and inflicting significantly more damage than others. When in this mode the character strikes with both weapons simultaneously, attacks cause more damage, but the character cannot inflict regular critical hits or backstabs. The character has become more proficient fighting with two weapons and now deals closer to normal damage bonus with offhand weapon. Oh, nice. Maybe we should take that first. All right, hang on, we've got a couple of these. Oh, I've had two of those to spend. Sweet, we'll take that and we'll take... That, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jewel striking, let's do it. It will go with normal, I think. For this particular playthrough. Once again, I won't talk over any cutscene type bits. Here we go. Here we go. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlay, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the South has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the King a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my daughter? I see she's become a lovely young woman. Aye, aye. Pleased to see you again, my dear. Uh, was I brought here for a reason? And you, Al Hao? Is your family here, Al Hao? So you're not leaving until tomorrow? Um, and you, Al Hao? My son Thomas asked after you. Perhaps I should bring him with me next time. Um, Thomas is a few years younger than I am. Oh, as you get older, those years make less difference. A lesson often hard won. I doubt she'll be a receptive how. My fierce girl has her own mind these days. Make her bless her heart. Quite talented, I'm sure. One to watch. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Excellent. Are you certain? What's involved in such a task? <laughs> I'll do my best, Father. Uh, what? Why can't I go to battle with you and Fergus? Not really necessary. I'll do my best, Father. Now, that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away. Yep. Yes. There's also pizza. someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan it. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrion Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. 
We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Uh, they're an order of great warriors. They are the heroes of legend, who ended the blights and saved us all. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your daughter is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is my daughter we're talking about. I think I rather like the idea, Father. Is there a reason I shouldn't join them? I have no interest in becoming a Grey Warden. Uh, is there a reason I shouldn't join them? You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? Uh, of course. In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Uh, where is Fergus? Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lass and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. All right, we get to move, people. We get to move. Yes? Uh... Your son is interested in me? The topic has come up from time to time. The young and their infatuations. I got the impression you didn't like me. I'm sure that was years ago. People change. To be honest, I have no expectations. And your father seems determined to let you find your own way. If something did happen, well... We'd address it as befits a family of our stature. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Your father's permissiveness <laughs> has made you willful, indeed. It may not always serve you so well. A willful woman is the last thing he needs. <laughs> Slap him, go on. Uh, I should go. Another time, then. No, I doubt it. Hello, Duncan. I'm sorry, but I believe your father wishes to talk to the Arl and myself Very well. alone. I'll leave you alone. Uh, maybe speak later. Your father has left you in charge of the castle? Then I will see you at dinner tomorrow, if not sooner. I look forward to it. As do I. Until then. Okay, we have a marker on the map. Let's do it. Be interesting to see. I mean, it... The camera's panning really smoothly. Like I remember when I played it on the PS3, it was quite sticky at times. Very nice. It'd be interesting actually to compare it to the four episodes I did on the standard Xbox. Standard Xbox One. There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Uh, why are you looking for me? I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again. And is threatening to leave. Uh, did the dog get into the larder again? No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. He'll listen to his mistress, but anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. Uh, he is better. Uh, then I guess I should go collect him. That would be wise, before Nan tears down the walls. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Uh, to the kitchen then. Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Very well. Oh, we'll go back there in a second. Let's see if. Uh, have a look around. Can't remember if there's much to pick up. No, hang on, we'll do that first actually, because we run into all sorts of conversations up the way. As I remember. Looks like this one. 
Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves, I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Uh, he's not a mongrel, he's a pure-blood Mabari. A blight wolf is what he is. How am I supposed to work like this? Oh, dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. Man, please. We'll get the dog. Calm down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. All right, let's see what's going on then. Look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Uh, enough, you're a bad boy, do you hear me? <laughs> what a smart boy you are. Oh yes, you are. Uh, sit right there, I'm not putting up with this. Are you trying to tell me something, boy? It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. <laughs> no shit. Wait. Did you hear that? Whoa. All right. <laughs> Just thought I hit a button there by mistake. Oh, what are we going to call him? Uh, what about... Ooh, I don't know. I know. Axe. It's a good name for a dog. Axel. <laughs> Axel. That's a great name for a dog. Come on. Wild creatures ahead. Well, rats. Yes, okay, we'll call them right creatures. Fine, that's wild rats. like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather <laughs> Blood used to tell. all over them. Your hound must have chased them in through <laughs> their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. It certainly looks that way. Those were rats from the Kokari wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. <laughs> How can you not tell her there's like 80 dead rats on the floor? Might as well raid it while we're here, people. Seems reasonable. Alright. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Actually, he was defending your larder from rats, big ones. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Yes, the rats are dead. It's quite mess, in fact. <laughs> My faithful warhound made sure it's safe. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. <laughs> I'm immune to your so-called charms. <laughs> Here then, take these pork bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Woohoo! All right, onward. Go 
Good evening, my lady. Are you marching off to war too? No. I wish I was old Are you enough marching to fight. Off to war too? Hello, my dear girl. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. It's all right, it is boring. I see you haven't changed. Perhaps it would benefit you to join our lesson. <laughs> um, certainly, I'd be happy to. Wonderful. Oh, the Kusland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? Come to think of it, I have things to do. <laughs> uh, when was our line founded? Records are vague. But the Kuslans became Tyrans during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Cunning during the Lycanthrope plagues. Good. I'm pleased some of my lessons seem to have stuck. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty, making him their turn. We predate the founding of the kingdom, yes? Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young lady. <laughs> Don't advise insulting me, old man. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. Your lecturing does lead to yawning. It's your skill as a tutor, of course. If I were truly a skilled tutor, I suspect I would not encounter such insouciance amongst my pupils. You can look that up later. At any rate, your family has held the tourneur of High Ever since before King Callanhad united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Kalanhad to maintain High Ever's independence. We opposed the king. The Kuslans are ardent royalists now, but at that time, Kalanhad was unknown and considered dangerous by many. When Kalanhad's army reached High Ever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Kalanhad won. And Kalanhad let us keep the Tainir. Kalanhad wished to unite Ferelde and not conquer it. After Elathea's men were defeated, Kalanhad asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. Tell about our relationship with the Arl, with Arl Howl. The history between the Kuslans and the Howes reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. Go on. During the rebellion against Orlais, several battles were fought near High Ever. The port village of Harper's Ford was the Turnier's center. Its Arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly ninety, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but how sided with Orlay? Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. But my father and Al Howe are old friends, methinks not. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion, when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan, to fight the Darkspawn. Time to end the lesson, I think. Thank you for... Indulging an old man. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. Perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and... apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. I don't have myself all this one to do this one. Ooh, shiny. XPs. There's a few of these little XP lumps we can pick up, I think.
Good evening. Nice. Clock them up, people. Clock them up. Good evening, my lady. Good evening. My lady. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my lovely daughter. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? Yarp. Yes, mother, Nan is back to work as we speak. Yes, there were giant rats in the larder. Ah, oh, marvellous. Just the thing for my guests to hear right before dinner. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Man Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. Of course, it is good to see you again, my lady. Weren't you drunk? I'm so proud of my pup's mastery of tact and diplomacy. <laughs> well, it was a lovely salon, from what little I remember. <laughs> Which wouldn't be much, considering we had to pour you into the carriage afterwards. You remember my son, Dyron. He's not married yet, either. Yeah. Don't listen to her. It's good to see you again, milady. You're looking as beautiful as... not going to get I... married without hair, either. <laughs> Thank you. And this is my lady in waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great pleasure, my lady. You are as pretty as your mother describes. You would think that it would make it easier to make a match for her, but more difficult. Perhaps your daughter simply has a mind of her own, your ladyship. You should be proud. Proud doesn't get me any more grandchildren. Uh. I can handle my own affairs, thank you. All evidence to the contrary. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dyron, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your ladyship. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Uh, did you know there's a Grey Warden here? Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. Uh, the Darkspawn have returned. Grey Wardens are needed. There's enough here at the castle to occupy you. I don't need you off chasing danger like your brother. Do you know where Fergus might be? Why can't I go with Father and Fergus? I have a bad feeling about all this. As do I. Your father and brother are marching off to fight Maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me. But it wouldn't help for us to take up arms and follow. Fergus and your father have their duty and we have ours. Are you staying at the castle? For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. I don't think you should go. Don't worry, my dear. It won't be long. Do you know where Fergus might be? If he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. I should go. I love you, my darling. Girl. And you, mother. You know that, don't you? I love you too. Go do what you must, then. I will see you soon. Okay. Uh, this way, I think. It is over. No, I cannot. <laughs> no, I cannot. Think again. Well, the route is clear. There's one. No, put them away. Axel relieves himself on the inconspicuous area nearby. Why? Do you see anything interesting? <laughs> really?
possible. All right, that is one route left. Is there really going to be? Hey, nice hats up? like mine. Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren, and I'll get you the mightiest one I can find. I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little sister to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. <laughs> well, he doesn't sound like a right get us all to see. Sure, love, dry your eyes. Get him off. Uh, should I wait outside? Stay. I'd like to say farewell. I bring a message. Father wants you to leave without him. What? Did you know there's a Grey Warden in the castle? Really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Oren. Griffins only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? He says he's recruiting. Oh? If I were a Grey Warden, little sister, I'd have my eye on you. Not that father would ever allow it. I, br uh, I wish I could go with you. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. In Antiva, a woman fighting in battle would be unthinkable. Is that so? I always heard Antivan women were quite dangerous. With kindness and poison only, my husband. This from the woman who serves me my tea. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know, eh? Different times, people. Right. You'll be missed, brother. If it's any consolation... I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. I bring... Uh, do you really think the war will be over that quickly? Word from the south is that the battles have gone well. There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Could that be true? I'll see for myself soon enough. Pray for me, love, and I'll be back within a month or two. I bring a message. Father wants you to leave without him. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. <sighs> well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead. So little time. Off we go, then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. A good shield would be more useful. Uh, you could have delivered your message yourself. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that as well. <laughs> uh, Fergus will be fine. He just might need those prayers. Fergus will be fine. I keep telling you, no darkspawn will ever best me. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus? You would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? <laughs> a wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, make us breath. It's like living with a pair of small boys. Thankfully, I have a daughter. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her, sister, won't you? Oh, the laughs we've had in these long winter nights. <laughs> you can count on me. Oh, good. How thrilling to know I'm so well taken care of. <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. Very well. <laughs> I was expecting to walk a little bit further than that. No way, I. What's wrong, boys? Is there someone there? My lady, help 
me! The castle is under attack! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it is! Oh, blimey, we got dressed quickly enough. Good grief. Can't be caught in our shorts. Our smalls, I should say. Oh, took his head clean off. What? Oh, yeah, no. I don't actually have any potions, do I? Darling, I heard fighting outside and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? It's their blood, not mine. What's going on? A scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? He's betrayed father. He attacks while the troops are gone. You don't think Howl's men were delayed? On purpose? I do. That bastard. Oh, <laughs> you God, lying to it myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. Uh, no, I haven't. I was in my room. We must find him. Uh, it sounds like the battle's downstairs. We should check on Oriana and Oren as well. And trust his mercy. What if the soldiers went into your brother's room first? Let's check on them quickly. Then we'll look for Bryce downstairs. Okay, but uh, let me... Oh, hello. Woo! We've got to level up, people. Just have to remember how to do it now. Right. Uh, oh, three points to spend. So this is for Axel. And... Well, he's a Mabari Warhound. Constitution's his thing. Constitution represents the health and resilience. High constitution directly increases the amount of damage a character can take before fall, falling in battle. So, I think we'll have a strength. And two constitution. Beast. And level up. Alright. Uh, I think we'll have a... Hmm. Well, it's another three points. Thinking constitution, get our health up a bit. Get it up to the same level as uh, ever, the other 250. Well, it takes to... Yeah. 15. Let's do it. And let's max out our experience in combat gains, small bonuses to armor and attack. Warriors and rows gain access to top tier weapon talents. Mages can take more damage from an attack before it interrupts there. Nice, yeah. Well, let's max that out and then we're done, aren't we? And the move. Nice. Uh, the character sweeps both weapons and forward arc, striking nearby enemies with one or both weapons. It's an option. I don't think we've got a bow yet for our second weapon set so can't do any of those yet so it's got to be that one or one of these the rogue delivers a swift and unsportsmanlike kick in to the target dealing normal combat damage as well as imposing penalties to defense lock picking right let's get a third move Probably regret not doing the lot picking to be fair, but in mind. To map abilities to the battle menu, open the radial menu with LT. Select talents. Uh, highlight the ability with left stick and then move to Y to map. So 
Seems reasonable. It's already done it for me though, to be fair. Uh, this was our room here, wasn't it? Nice. Stop it. Yes. Ah, got a bow now, which means, in fact, we can sort out a second weapon set, which is the one thing that was missing in the new game. Inquisition, you couldn't have two weapon sets and jump between bow and knives and what have you. Bit annoying. Uh, there we go. Alright, we must have to do it in the main menu then. Currently equipped items are highlighted in blue. Use L S to change categories and A to equip the items. This seems reasonable. Uh, swap weapon set. Uh, wrong button, Stephen. Uh, swap weapon set. There we go. That's it. That's all we need to do. And now you can jump between them in the quick menu. Although, why is that one better? Oh, that's equipped. That's what it is. Fair enough. There you go. So if you want to swap backward and forward, you just... Go to advanced and change. You can do it in battle, which is awesome. Really missed it in Inquisition, I have to say. Nice, we've got health potions. I knew there was something in that chest, that's why I was trying to open it earlier. Right, let's have a proper save because we haven't done one yet. Okay, mother. Let's check on mother and child in this one, was it, I think? Oh, they're dead. No! My little Oren! What manner of fiend slaughters innocence? Why would they do this? I'll make them pay. Don't look, mother. Why would they do this? I was not even taking hostages. He means to kill all of us. Oh, poor fuckers. Let's go. I don't want to see this. Anything to be had? Not that I'm not sympathetic to the pain here, but uh, do you have any goodies? <laughs> right. Be on your guard. As you say. Die, you swines. Ah, uh, why? Stun me. Get. Nice work, mother. Did we do that room? No, that's our room. Oh, uh, idiot. Salvage some things here, darling. I, I am some done. of your father's belongings are in that trunk. Nice. Woo! Oh, a longbow as well. Right, we should try putting some of this stuff on. They're not a huge amount. I think the longbow, possibly the daggers. We'll see what, uh, see what they're like. Possible they're the same as the ones I've already got on, but uh, let's have a look. Went the long way around there, Stephen. Let 
Yeah, the same daggers. Just got three instead of two. So what we can do is put the long bow, uh, the long bow on our second set though. What? Actually, there's got to be a quick way. Can I not do the... Yeah, there you go. That'll do it. I don't know why she was looking at that. No, no reason. Alright, let's go. So we're heading to the White Arrow. There's a door here, actually. I know which way to go, but let's just see what's going on. Oh, no. Oh, dear Landra. Landra. I'm, I'm so sorry. Task if is she finished. hadn't come to me. If she hadn't been here. Uh... So we need to go outside. Chest. Health root. Finished. That gets used for making potions. Health potions at that. Or health pulses as they're called. Alright, let's have one last save before we go down here. Just in cases. Let's do this. Blood battle commence. Can you hear the fighting? Hell's men must be everywhere. Uh, then we should take the fight to them. Don't be foolish. Oh, right. You would throw your life away? The front gate. That's where your father must be. Uh, we can't just let Hal win. Listen, darling. We haven't much time. If we can't find your father, you must get out of here alive. Without you and Fergus, the entire Kusin line dies here. If Hal's men are inside, they must already control the castle. We must use the servants entering the larder to escape. Do you hear me? I hear you. Then let us be swift. Let's go, mother. Studded leather armor, which is possibly better than what I've got on, although it's possible it's heavy armor. Inventory. Rough. It's the same, in fact. Tier 1 armor. Sell it later. Onward. The castle has fallen! I'm getting out of here! Um. Go, man. Save yourself. <laughs> well, yeah. It shall be To battle! We fight for our home! Don't give them the advantage! Nice work! Make have mercy on your soul! I shall see. That's what's the wrong button! Work. Go on, Axel. Beast. It's a rogue off, people. It's a rogue off. 
you did. I won. Good God, the blood people. Hello. Big shiny chest with a mushroom in it. Of course it is. <laughs> Get XP for that, though. We must not exhaust our supplies. I'm going for the archer. Around it here. Where is everyone else? Oh, dead. Oh, no! Come on! You did. Nice work. Saved it a bit at the end there. Go on, Axel, we'll get him. Bloody strong, isn't he? I will kill him on <laughs> Axel and Mother Connect. Take him down, nice work. So he's been running all the way back. Go on, good boy. Good boy, Axel. Oh no! He will be avenged, old sage. I swear it. God damn it! The old guy that I can't remember his name. I've known him all my life. Think again. Ah, oh, god damn it! I knew I was going to regret not doing those skills. Although, hang on a minute. Hang on, uh, just a minute. I wonder if Mother can do it. God damn it, mother, what you say? Uh, you've had your whole life to learn how to pick that lock. God damn it. <laughs> that rotten scoundrel how will pay for his crimes. Think again. We're getting close to the treasury. The Kuzlan family blade lies inside. Here, darling, take my key. That blade cannot fall into Howe's hands. It should sever his treacherous head. Very well. Let me just... Uh, I know it's that door, but I, I thought I saw some stuff lying on the ground here. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to end up triggering more stuff, though. Nice. Come on, let's have him. Ooh, finished. Good go team. Go, man the gate. Keep those bastards out as long as you can. Your ladyship, my lady, you're both alive. I was certain Hal's men had gotten through. No. They did get through. They killed Oriana and Oro. I can't believe. Are you injured? Don't worry about me, your ladyship. Thank the maker, you two are unharmed. When I realized what was happening, it was all I could do to <laughs> shut the gates. These two guys but are like, hurry up, Hal's god damn it. If you've another way out of the castle, use it quickly. Um We need to find father. When I last saw the town, he'd been badly wounded. I urged him not to go, but he was determined to find you. He went towards the kitchen. I believe he thought to find you at the servant's exit in the larder. Bless you, Sir Gilmore. Make her watch over you. Make her watch over us all. Right, okay, we need to get this sword first. Come on. Should have done it in the first place. It is over. Uh, 
I had a feeling that when we went in here it all went to cutscene and stuff, but maybe I've got it wrong. Finished. Here we go. Nice. Short bow and axe. Can't really use any of that. Family sword and shield of high ever. Problem is, because I've got a, a rogue, none of that stuff's of any use to me, really. If we go into here and look at the what we just picked up, I think... Well, we can't wear that because it's heavy, I think. Needs strength of 14 because it's a heavier armour. We've already compared that and it was the same. And that's it. Yeah, so it wasn't any good. It would have been nice if it had been sort of, if you were a rogue, it would have been the daggers of the family and what have you, but all the staff of the family were a mage. Nice. Gone, foul beast. Okay. It's really smooth camera panning, I've got to say. It's brilliant. Absolutely gorgeous. That's the one we went in. Let's check this one out. Oh, hello. Could have an encumberment problem soon. Benedict encumberment. <laughs> Still holding the door, boys. Thank you. Make yourselves useful. Nice of them to hold it longer while I loot the place, isn't it? <laughs> awesome. Here he goes. This is the room I was thinking of that goes to cutscene, I think. More enemies oh, no. ahead. Blimey, eh? My memory's atrocious. Who'd have thunk it? Nice. Nice, save the soldier. Save yourself, man! Hang on, mother. Need to check this path. Keep your wits back. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Back! Stop! Oh. Bloody hammer's there. Back. Getting a bit tougher now, folks. Oh, we've got a health potion back, though. Nice. Oh, I've missed this game. God damn it, so good. God damn it. Is that a dead end up here, then? So many places to bloody look. Oh, man. Oh, that's Nan, isn't it? You bastards! You'll pay for Nan's death! Anything in the larder? Oh, maybe it wasn't Nan, maybe it was the elf. Oh, it's father. Yeah. It's not good, people. There, you both are. I was. Bryce! Wondering when you would get here. Bryce, Bryce, baby! <laughs> Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding. Owl's men found me first. Almost did me in right there. 
Why is Hal doing this? He can't get away with this. The King will... Bryce, we must get you out of here. I... I won't survive the standing, I think. That's not true, you'll be fine. Oh, my darling girl. If only Will could make it so. Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go. Someone must reach Burgess. Tell him what has happened. And take vengeance. Yes. Vengeance. Bryce, no. The servant's passage is right here. We can flee together, find you healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid the turn is correct. Hal's men have not yet discovered this exit, but they surround the castle. Getting past will be difficult. You are Duncan, then? The Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My daughter helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. Are you going to help us, Duncan? Good man. Whatever is to be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan, I beg you. Take my wife and daughter to safety. I will, your lordship. But I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything. What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. <laughs> Are you talking about me? I'm here, you know. You fought your way to me through Hal's men. I think the Maker's intention is clear. I will take the Tirna and your daughter to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then your daughter joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to Hal. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. I accept your offer. We must leave quickly then. Bryce, are you sure? Our daughter will not die of Hal's treachery. She will live and make her mark on the world. Darling, go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. Mother, no! But I won't abandon you. God damn it! Mother, are you sure you want to do this? My place is with your father. At his side, to death and beyond. I'm... So sorry it's come to this, my love. We had a good life, and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, pup. Warn your brother. You know that we love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go, now. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, mother and father. God damn that how. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Yes, Your Majesty. My name is Skye. Your brother has already arrived with High Ever's men. But we are still awaiting your father. He's not coming. He died when our castle was taken. Dead? 
What do you mean? Not alive. <laughs> do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Oral Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Howe to justice. You have my word. Thank you, Your Majesty. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. But he may be in danger. We are all in danger, my Good friend. Point. Nothing can be done until your brother returns, and that will not be until the battle is over. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. Uh, so long as Al Hal pays, I'm happy. What would you know about the, my grief? <laughs> Let's have a go at the king, shall we? Thanks for nothing, dude. Uh, so long as Al Hal pays, I'm happy. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I didn't realize things were going so well. It sounds like the blight is almost over. You should... You sound very confident of that. Uh, I didn't realize things were going so well. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. Fare ye well, Majesty. Catch you later. What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Yet you don't sound very reassured. He didn't seem to take the Darkspawn very seriously. Mm, true. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Then maybe we should move quickly. What would you have him do? Why not? He seems to regard the Grey Warden highly. Uh, you could if he were not such a fool. No, I don't think so. Do you think there's any danger? Yes, then maybe we should move quickly. Yes, we should proceed with the ritual. What do you need me to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you are ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. <coughs> the Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to. Very well. Oh, we've got a level up. Whoop, whoop. Oh, there's an eye opener and no mistake. I mean, not a hint of any stutter at all panning that round. It's brilliant. And there we are, folks. That is an ideal place to wrap up part one of Dragon Age Inquisition. Nearly forgot what it was. Dragon Age Inquisition on the Xbox One X, people. And I will be back with part two in what will seem like no time at all. It has been an honor and a privilege saving for you again. And I will see you soon. Take it easy. Bye.